Hello. Today we'll talk about OmniOffice macros. Macros are small scripts that help us automate our daily routine tasks, like this macro that highlights the duplicates in the selected area with different colors, or the currency exchange rate macro that provides us with information about the currency exchange rates over the past several days. You're probably familiar with Microsoft VBA-based macros. However, only of his macros are based on JavaScript syntax and um, document builder API methods. There are certain reasons why we use JavaScript. Cross-platform. Unlike Visual Basic, JavaScript is more common. Therefore, our macros can be used on Windows, Linux, and Mac, and Mac OS platforms. Easy to use. JavaScript is a beginner-friendly language with a growing vibrant community. A lot of people choose JavaScript as their first programming language to master. Hence, there are a lot of tutorials available. Security. Macros run as JavaScript code in the same window with the editors. This way, they don't get any access to the system. In our macros, we use combination of JavaScript syntax and only Office Document Builder API. But what is the only Office Document Builder? Well, it's a C++ library used to create and edit Office Open XML files, documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. It also allows us to save them to docx, xlx, pptx, and pdf formats. It operates with JavaScript and will implement those API methods when creating our macros. Now, let's create our macro together and see how it works. For reference, we'll use a VBA macro. It inserts the hello world phrase in one of the cells. Let's take a closer look at it. As we see, we declared a sub-procedure here. It contains the code that we'll execute. After that, we called the cells method to target certain cells in the document. Then we passed in the cells coordinates in the parentheses, and we set a phrase to be inserted. In our case, it is the hello world phrase. Now, we'll do the same in the only office spreadsheet editor. First, we open the Plugins tab and select Macros. It will open a new window. On the left, we can see a list of all the available macros. As you can see, a new macro has already been created. We can rename it, delete it, or create a new one. Also, you can see this Auto Start button. It allows us to run our macro automatically when we open the editors. To the right of the list, there is a basic function wrapper. We'll write our code here. So, let's get started. First, we need to target the active spreadsheet where we will insert the hello world phrase. To do that, we'll use one of the document builder API methods. This method is called getActiveSheet. It returns an object that represents the active sheet. In simple words, it tells the editor that we want to do something with this particular spreadsheet. When we started typing, the function wrapper displayed a hint. We just selected the required method from the list and pressed enter. It is a very useful tool and we recommend using it to avoid typos. Then we need to target the cells where we'll insert the phrase. To achieve that, we will use the getRange method. It returns the selected range of the current sheet. By using this method, we tell the editor where we want to insert our phrase. It can be only one cell, or we can use a range of cells. Let's try only one cell so far. So we will pick C4. And now, we need to set the value of the current cell. The setValue method will help us attain that. Then we'll pass in the value in the parentheses. In our case, it is the hello world phrase. Then we press the run button and execute our macro. 
Now, let's try targeting more cells. To do that, we'll tweak the get range parameter. This way, we'll insert the hello world phrase into 10 cells of the C column. And again, we execute this macro by clicking the run button. Let's take a look at another VBA based macro. This macro sets the background of the chosen cell. And here's the VBA code. So, after we declared a sub procedure, we executed the range method to specify a particular cell. In our case, it is B3. Then we gave it the interior color property with the RGB color code. And now we'll create a similar macro in OnlyOffice. So we click the new button and name it Change Background Color. First, we get the active sheet and set the range. This time we'll target the B3 cell. Next, we are going to set the background color of the current cell. For that, we'll use the set fill color method. Then we need to create the RGB color setting for the targeted cell. We will tackle it by passing in the create color from RGB method. Now, we run our macro. Alternatively, we can target more cells and change their background color. To do that, we will increase the range by adding more cells to the get range parameter. Now, we'll take a look at a similar only office macro. This macro will change the font color of the selected cells. To change the font color of the cells, we need to have some text inside of them. And I suggest running the Hello World macro. It will automate this routine task. I already have it, so I'll just run the macro. Now that we have the Hello World phrase inserted, we can start making our new macro. We'll start by targeting the active spreadsheet. Then we target the cells with the inserted text. After that, we set the text color of the selected cell range by executing the setFontColor method. And we pass in the RGB color code by using the createColorFromRGB method. Now, let's run the macro. All the only office methods that we use today can be found in the API section of our help center. The link to the help center is in the description down below this video. Also, you can access the API documentation page by scanning the QR code right here on the screen. I hope you enjoyed building these simple only office macros with me. In our next lesson, we will be talking about creating complex macros and using them as a template for creating possible new ones. Thank you for watching and best of luck in your exploratory endeavors.